this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you relax and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you'll see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a nap that you'll be testing. Take your second right past Mars on the Magic School Bus. Alligator Nostro. Okay, Happy Hoppers, which one of you wants to be when you grow up? I want to be a puggy police officer just like my papa. I want to be a model maker just like my dad. We, we want to be, be a firefighter, firefighter just, just like, like our pa. I want to be a comedian just like my dad. And I want to be an auto mechanic just like my parents. <laughs> well, I'm an alarm clock, so I think I'll be a teacher. Well, I'm a mailbox, so I think I'll be a postman. Those are all wonderful choices, Happy Hoppers! Excellent job! Huh? I wonder who could that be? Back in the gym, Happy Hoppers! <gasps> well, I'll be doggone! Do my eyes deceive me? Is it really you, Magic School Bus? Yes, it's me, and I... Oh, my dream! My childhood's here! I mean, I mean, uh, nice to see you. Um, I, I'm Mr. Diggerty. Desmond Diggerty. Uh, it's nice to see you too, but that is not why I'm here. Please, be slow. Let me talk, okay? Anyway, these are my pals, Motorbike and Itty B. Hello, you two. What's up? We've got a big problem, Desmond. Listen. We were in our home school taking roll call, making sure every student was here. But when we got to the last student, Phoebe Therese, her desk wasn't even there. Which means Phoebe wasn't here. We looked all around our school, inside and out. No Phoebe. We went to her old school. She wasn't there either. We even went to her house. But no one was at home. Phoebe is missing. Oh my, that's terrible. Don't you worry, bus. I'll see what I can do. Happy Hoppers, I have exciting news. An old friend from my childhood needs our help. A student from his class is missing, and we must accompany him to find her. Field trip! Happy Hoppers, meet the Magic School Bus. Hi, Magic School Bus. Good morning, kids. Prepare for adventure. Hop in! Oh wait, Desmond! I just remembered someone special we forgot to ask! The Frizzles! I wonder what this journey will be like, everyone! Maybe we'll be flying like a spaceship! Maybe we'll go in an underground tunnel! Maybe we'll see some sort of magic fairy castle! Maybe, Maybe we'll, we'll do, do acrobatics, just, just like in a circus! circus. Does someone need help? At your service! Frizzles, thank goodness you're both still here! Wait, Miss Frizzle? There's two of you now? Oh, excuse us, we're sisters! Call me Valerie! And call me Fiona! No one can tell us apart! Don't you worry, Desmond! We'll track our last student!
Now class, remember to keep looking in this mighty huge place and see if you can find any clues of where she might be. Also remember to keep your eyes on the path while looking for you know who. Aha, a space theater. Now this is the perfect place to jump in and look for Phoebe. Ready class? Hold on to your seats. Wahoo! All right, Phoebe, here we come. Aha, Mercury, the first planet. Whoa, look at these dry craters and grayish lands. That's because Mercury might be known as the first planet in the solar system. And also might be the hottest too. There's Venus, the second planet. We better keep chugging along. This place is extremely hot. You bet it is, boss. They also say this place is even hotter than lava. That's Earth, our home planet. We're already here, you know. There's Mars. Mars the red planet. Look at me. Now I look just like a rover on Mars. Mars is also known as the red planet to everyone, you know. We're also glad there aren't any aliens. <laughs> <laughs> There's Jupiter, the largest planet. Whoa, hang on, everyone. This place is mighty stormy. Right you are, class. Jupiter has a big red spot, which makes the planet extra stormy. And now Saturn, her mighty rings shining bright. Hang on, here we go. Wee! There's Uranus, the seventh planet. Whoa, everything's all turquoise and aquamarine here. That's right, boss. Uranus is the first coldest planet on the solar system. And also the one who some people say tilts on its side. There's Neptune, the eighth planet. <laughs> it's so cold and stormy in here. That's right, boss. Neptune is the coldest planet in the solar system. And also the farthest, thanks to that big dark spot you see. Here we are, Pluto, the dwarf planet. Phoebe's gotta be around here somewhere. Just keep looking, boss. You never know when she's near. <gasps> there she is. And her parents, too. Miss Frizzle, you found me. But why is there two of you now? Oh, excuse us. We're sisters. I'm Professor Frizzle, and I'm Miss Frizzle. No one can tell us apart. Thanks for saving us, Frizzles. Who are the Frizzles? And you know I can't see very well. At my old school, we never got stranded on strange planets. Teresa's, since you guys had some adventures of your own, how about we give you a little magic of our own? Oh boy, here we go again. Let's start off by buzz. Our way out. Mom, Dad, one time Miss Frizzle took us inside a beehive and we saw how bees made honey from inside. I guess, I guess now I know, I guess now I know what that feels like. Were there any honey jars in there? Now, class, let's use our trash hunting skills and night vision to crawl our way out. One time, our bus became a bear and then we had to hunt it down the street. Well, thank goodness it was only your magic boss. That sounds funny. There are no bears in the city. Class, this may look scary to you, but we have to swim our way out and try not to use our teeth. This is so weird. At my old school, we never had to swim on land. I'll have to keep my eyes closed for this. 
You know I can't see anything, right? So I think I'll be fine. Class, time to clear away your fears, because it's time to get furry and skedaddle our way out. Don't worry, Mom and Dad. I was a fox before when we went to the city. Okay, class, we're out. Bus, change is back. All right, Terra says, I'll get you guys safely home as soon as we drop all those little animals back to their hometown. Thank you all so much for your bravery. And Phoebe, I promise I'll save you a seat when we get back to class. Oof! Oh my! I must have transformed so many times that my engine stalled out! Whoever can repair me? Oh, is that the magic school bus? It is, it sure is. No way, it's a miracle. How is this possible? I think you must be joking. No one's joking, sweetheart. It's real. No need to worry, guys, because I think I see two auto mechanics approaching right there. Mommy, Daddy, you're here to fix the school bus? We sure are, sweetie. After all, repairing cars is our job. No need to worry, school bus. We're here to fix you. Let's get wrenching! Woohoo! Thank you so much, you guys! I never knew you guys were auto mechanics! Just doing our job! Let's go home, sweeter. You guys are the best! Thanks for your help, Frizzles. We couldn't have gotten out there without you, too. No need to thank us. Thank Desmond. He made this field trip extra special indeed. Oh, it was nothing. You two seem rather sweet yourselves. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Therese, do you promise never to tell any of our students about our magic? No worries. Absolutely not. Have a great day, Therese's. <laughs>